Hi and welcome to video number two. We're going to talk about the do's and the don'ts, basically common sense stuff. You'll need to understand the stuff before you actually move into mobile marketing. Now, first of all, I'm going to talk about the do's, which will help you with your conversion rates and to help you get started. Then I'm going to talk about the do, do, do nots that will keep you safe, stuff that you want to avoid doing, and then I'll talk about a few tips that you'll want to do to increase your conversion rates. You'll definitely want to do the following. You'll definitely want to research your market beforehand. If you research your market, you know who your market is, then it's just easier to market to them. You want to make sure that you have a call to action. When I say call to action, you, you're trying to get them to sign up onto your mobile list. Believe it or not, you need to tell people how to sign up onto your list. Even if it's obvious, if people do not know how to sign up onto your mobile list, sometimes it can get confusing, you know, double opt-ins and signing up onto the mobile phone, you know, what do they do, how do they send you a message, things like that. You need to step-by-step -step show people, take them by the hand and show them step-by-step -step how to sign up on your list. You also need to give them a reason. People are not going to just sign up on your mobile list for any reason. They're not going to sign up unless you give them a reason. When I say give them a reason, I mean something, like a freebie. Because customers are always going to ask you, they're always going to ask themselves also, what's in the for me? What do you have that I want? If I'm going to take my time to sign up on your list, what do you have? I mean, what are you going to give me? So you really got to be clear about why they should sign up. Is it a freebie? Is it a discount? Is it something valuable? What is it? You also need to send a balance of offers and freebies. When I say offers and freebies, I mean this. If you think about it, let's say you're in your customer's shoes and a merchant or a business, you just sign up on their list. They've given you offers. Offers can be discounts, it can be sales, but it can also be buy this, buy this. In order to deepen your relationship with your customers, you need to give them a balance of information, free information, free tips, something free. But you don't want to always give free, free, free. Otherwise, they're going to expect free stuff from you all the time. If you do that, you're going to spoil your list, and your list is not going to take you seriously. When you send your offer, they're not going to buy it. On the other hand, if you send them offer after offer after offer, then they're going to wonder, wait, you're using me. You know, you're just sending me all these offers. You're not really helping me out. So you want to balance it out, gain their trust by giving them freebies, but at the same time giving them offers that are relevant. So don't send too much of one thing. That's why I said relevancy. Relevancy is when you give them only what they want. If they're going to sign up onto your mobile list because they want to sign up to learn about maybe, let's say, how to play tennis, then you only want to stick with tennis. You don't want to give them offers that deal with Badminton, even though badminton might be something similar to tennis. So relevancy, give them only what they want and the reason why they signed up. Customer referrals, give your customers a reason to pass your text along. So maybe at the end of the text, you could say, forward this to whoever you like. That's a great way to build your list. Several do nots, just a few, pretty obvious. Do not spam. Do not uh, do text messages like alcohol, pornography, firearms, tobacco, anything illegal because guess what? You've got to comply with can spam acts because depending on your country, the federal law governing commercial email or in this case, you know, the telemarketing world, Federal law and law always has heavily marketed telemarketing and things like that. 
That's why you have the do not call list and things like that. So you want to make sure that if you do build a list, you have proof that shows that you are complying and that shows that somebody gave you permission. So in the videos that I'll be showing you in the future, I'll be showing you two different systems. A system that allows you to send out voice messages and a system that allows you to send out text messages. Now the one with text messages allows you to do what we call double opt-in. So it allows you to basically build a list and whoever signs up onto your mobile list has to double confirm or confirm that they are really the owner of that mobile phone. It keeps you safe. Not all systems do that. It doesn't mean that you always have to do that. You have to have proof to show that you are indeed gathering people's mobile phones and you have their permission. When in doubt, do your diligence or even ask a lawyer. Just some tips before we close this off to help your conversion rates. Let's say that you're up and running, you have your mobile marketing campaign going. One thing is that consumers are often tight on both time and money. Seeing that that's the case, anything that helps them save time or money is often a winner. So if you're having a campaign, you, you're sending out offers, especially during holidays like Christmas. If you're out there giving offer after offer after offer, let's say buy one get one free or you know 50% off or you know we're only doing this special for you know 48 hours and as you know mobile marketing you can contact the people right away so they get the text message right away they have 48 hours to rush to your restaurant rush to whatever business you have buy your product or I mean if you're doing an online business you could say 48 hours you know because not everybody checks their email every day some people check their email every other other day some people check their email every week but most people check their phones just just about you know every other hour so mobile marketing in that sense is very powerful and like I said remember I said do a balance of offers and tips so besides offers you want to send out useful tips advice news or other information now you don't that does not give you the opportunity to just send out news just random news and random tips make sure that those are tips that actually help them save time and save money or fulfill some problem or is a solution to a problem that they are facing so basically make the lives easier for your customers another tip is to build a mobile application with store locators discounts tips updated news and more if you think about it we have iPhones and we have droids so in the last video I'm going to talk about how to build a mobile application I'm not going to really show you step by step the programming side but I'm going to show you different ways to brainstorm different ways to find people that will build a mobile application for you mobile applications are great just because if you think about it let's say you have a store let's say you have a restaurant let's say you have a gym let's say you have several restaurants around the area franchises McDonald's you know Moe's Chipotle things like that you have these franchises with a mobile application somebody can just figure out the location of a store type it into their GPS or whatever go directly to your store and it's just it just makes it easier makes the life easier for your customers discounts are great tips are great updated news is great as long and make sure you just don't hammer them Make sure that you balance it out, send the offers, send tips, and send freebies. But make sure that if you do send something out, that it is really valuable. It's not something, it's not some mumbo jumbo that you just send out and that's it. It's something that is valuable that will deepen that relationship. 
Hello and welcome to video number three. We're going to talk about how to gather your list of leads and you're going to need a list of leads before you get started. Now there are many different sites that require you to, to do different things and I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. First thing I want to do is talk about organizing your leads. If you don't have a list of leads yet you can listen carefully to this and just move on but if you have your leads already you're going to need to organize them so if you have your lead leads then you're going to need at least their first name their last name and their phone number you're also going to need to have proof as to where you got these leads because if ever and, and I know this is something that you don't really think of but if ever this happens where you're faced with you know people coming at you saying you know where'd you get this information you're always gonna have proof that you were given this information and that you are not spamming you need to know what your plan is beforehand for example are you gonna use voice messages or are you going to use text messages if you want to use both you can but I would recommend that whatever you start out with if you're going to stick with voice messages stick with voice messages if you're going to stick with text messages stick with text messages just like email marketing when somebody signs up on your list they get used to you they get used to your style of writing and things like that but in this case if they're receiving a voice message then when they expect to receive something from you then they're most likely going to want to receive that voice message but if on the other hand they receive a text message from you when they hear from you they're going to expect a text message from you and that will help as well in your conversion rate some sites require you to get the person and what I mean by that is for example some sites require to use their system like Aweber for example Aweber requires that you know most of the time that they subscribe and they confirm that they actually subscribed on your list therefore decreasing the spam rate and decreasing the accusations that you might get later on about being a spammer but some sites require that you import the leads so you have to have the leads in advance so what I recommend is this the first step to any of this is to figure out what site you will use first and then go from there whether you use dial my calls whether you use sendtextalerts.com or whether you use any other site that might send mobile text messages or mobile voice messages whatever the case is you need to figure out that you need to know your plan and you need to figure out whether you need to gather leads right now and then import them later or if there's a system out there that you can just use and go ahead and use and start gathering leads that way it'll make more sense when I show you the next two videos now for those of you that want to gather a list of leads I'm going to go over different ways of gathering lists of leads and then I'm actually going to show you firsthand step by step using Aweber Gathering a list of leads is just like, you know, gathering a first name and email address. In this case, a list of leads is going to be the first name, last name, and the phone number because we're using mobile marketing. So, to get them on your list, just like getting them on your list, any list, you need to give them a reason. You need to give them something. Give them a reason to sign up on your list. Whether it's a discount, let's say you're a restaurant, or your gym give them a discount give them a free copy of something and this free copy of something just can't be a free copy of anything it needs to be a free copy of something that they are willing to pay for but you're giving them it away for free maybe you own a gym maybe you could say okay you might not want to say something like you, you know free copy of personal training you might want to give something like okay maybe a diet plan you know think of something that people pay for that you could deliver quickly and without wasting your time or spending your time 
a free copy of something they're, they're going to pay for, a special deal on something. Maybe if they sign up on your list within the next seven days, you will give them a special deal on something. Because your goal here is you, you get them on your list, you gather that list of leads, you need to have proof that they actually signed up on your list. Because, like I said earlier, when you're faced with somebody accusing you of spamming them, they go to the authorities, and then the authorities come to you and say, hey, you're spamming so-and-so. But if you're doing this, you're getting the proof that you need, then you're not going to need, you know, you're not going to have to, you're going to have to go and prove it to people, but yes. I mean, you're not going to have to waste a lot of time because you already have proof. So make sure you back yourself up and keep yourself safe. So in this case, you can use several different autoresponders to gather a list of leads. You can use Aweber, you can use GetResponse, and any other type of service like that. Now, in the next few steps, I'm going to show you how to gather a list of leads in terms of mobile marketing. So I would highly recommend that you use Aweber to gather leads. Now, if you want to know how to set up your list and set up messages and things like that, Aweber is a great place that provides lots of training resources, videos, and step-by-step -step training to do just that. Now, I primarily want to show you exactly what you want to gather. So if you go to Aweber, you create your list, you go to Web Forms, you click on Create Web Form, this is the place that you need to pay close attention to. So now because you're gathering leads online, you need to gather three things, their name, their email, and their phone number. Now you need to make it clear to them whether you are going to communicate with them through email or through phone because the last thing anybody wants is to be communicated or slam with emails and emails and texts and texts. So you just need to make sure that they understand that you're only using this so that you can send them information to their email and then contact them through their text messages and stuff like that. So as you can see by default it's name and email but we can always add a new field if we want to. So we could say something like phone number. And then it's going to ask you if you want to do text input select box radio checkbox text area date in this case it is a text input so click OK you could say you know input type and let's say you want the phone number in a certain you know type you can do XXX you know XXXXX something whatever you want and then you could have it remove the text when it's clicked on but in this case we're just gonna leave it blank and click OK and the beauty of Aweber is you can move this around. Let's say the name should be at the top, the phone number, and then the email, or you want the the name at the top, the email, and the phone number at the bottom. You could do that as well. Once you're done with that, you can either use a certain template, or you can just save the web form. Once you save the web form, you're going to need to, you know, publish or get the thank you page. So thank you page you could even you know put a audio version, you can put a video, you know things like that. When you're ready to publish, you can install the form by clicking, you know, install form. Now I'm not exactly going to go all in depth and show you how to install the form and, you know, create a landing page and everything like that. A lot of that detail is already in Aweber itself, but I wanted to show you that just so that you can see, you know, what kind of stuff you're trying to gather and give you a good idea of that. Hi, and welcome to video number four. I'm going to talk about in this particular video how to send voice messages to your leads. And in this specific video, I'm going to be using a site called dialmycalls.com. This site I've been using for many months for now, and it's been great, and I highly recommend it. Very, very easy to use it. It, both, it allows both voice messages and text messages, but I would actually use text messages for, for video five. So um, definitely, we'll talk about that in just a minute. 
Okay, so right now we're at dialmycalls.com, and at this site, I would highly recommend that you use this site mainly for voice messages. Now, keep in mind that dialmycalls.com and send text alerts, which is what I'm going to talk about in the next video, mainly caters to the United States. Now, if you want a site that caters specifically to your country, I would recommend that you go to Google and you type in send mobile text messages or send mobile voice messages and then put the country. In this case I put UK and as you can see you have a site here right here. There are tons and tons of sites out there. The only reason why I chose downmycalls.com is because I, I specifically use this site so I'm familiar with it. Now right now this is my personal account. I'm, I actually have two different accounts but what I wanted to do here just show you how it works or how to import your list of contacts first, how to set up a call, and then how to track all your results. Because the good thing about Dial My Calls is it allows you to set up the call, send it out, and then track your results fairly easily. Now, one thing I want to say before we get started is that if you do just if you want to just do text messages and you can use send text alerts then I would recommend that you use that site and that site allows you to basically build a list on the fly just through their system now if you're going to use a site like dialmycalls.com then you're going to need to gather a list of leads first assuming that you have already done so I'm gonna go ahead and import those leads into dialmycalls.com to do that all you have to do is click on my contacts once you're done then you'll see your list of contacts you can click on import a list of contacts now this is what it's going to look like you're going to need you know first name last name email and phone number so all of this can be gathered by using Aweber, GetResponse, or any, any other autoresponder. Now keep in mind that only use phone numbers that people have given you. Do not use phone numbers that people have not given you. If people not have not given you the permission to use their phone number, then I would highly recommend that you not use it for safety's sake. Okay, once you're done with that, you can set up a call. Now, Dial My Calls, you can give it a test if you want to. They have a free service that allows you to do one call per week with a maximum number of 25 people. With their premium service, which I, I use, it has no limits, except for, you know, credits and things like that. So let's say that I want to set things up. The thing that I love about Dial My Calls is it gives me the ability to do more than just send voice messages. So as you can see here, I can push to leave a message, push to listen again, polling, and push to opt out. Now what do these mean? Well push to leave message allows you to let's say for example that you're a restaurant and then when somebody leaves your restaurant they've signed up on your mobile contact list then you send them a voice message saying, hey, you know, thanks for coming into the restaurant. We want to know your experience. You know, it says, please press 8 and leave a message or something. Or let's say you want to do a poll and you're doing a, you're doing a test on a specific product that you have released. You could do that too and you can poll your customer base by doing that. And you can also push to opt out giving them the ability to opt out whenever they want, which is great. Once you're done with that, you click on next and then you want to either select a recent recording or you can title the recording. In this case, I'm going to title the recording. I'm going to call it, let's say, experience. Now, remember, if you're a male, then use a voice gender male. If you're a female, then use a female. With dialmycalls.com, they give you, you the ability to have three choices. You can either use a touchtone phone to record your message. You can upload a MP3 file or wave sound file that you've recorded. Or you can use the text to speech tool. Now, if I would recommend these top two, 
This one's actually the easiest. And then you put in your phone number and then click call me and basically you do the recording. Once you've finished the recording then you can choose a specific recording and then click continue to step three. You'll need to start adding the contacts. Once you add the contacts you just confirm your scheduling like say for example that you want to send the voice message in a few days. You can do that or a few weeks. You can do that in advance. So if you wanted to, you could even start ahead of time and create all of your voice messages and send them in advance. Okay, so once you send out your recording, you have the ability to see whether each and every single one of the text messages were successful. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to view a certain report. I could do that. You know, as you can see here, I only did a test, but you can see that my attempt was successful. You can see how long the person stayed on the phone, whether they hanged up the phone in the middle of the message or, you know, things like that. And that's the beauty of mobile marketing is you can track every single text. Unlike email marketing where you can only t track if somebody clicks on a link, this case you know that the message has reached the person successfully or not. So as you can see it's very very easy to use. Now if you are in another country, UK, Asia, places like that, simply go to Google and find that site. Most sites are pretty self-explanatory and easy to use but with this video series it's mainly the concepts to understand All right, in this particular video, we're going to talk about sending unlimited text alerts. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is sendtextalerts.com. This site allows you to basically build a list of mobile contacts and it lets you contact these people unlimited times, which is pretty amazing. Now, if you watched the previous video with Dial My Calls, they charge you, I think it's about one and a half credits to two credits per text message, which means if, let's say you have a list of 500 people, let's look at a small number, 500 people times one or two credits, you know, per week or per month, that can be a lot of money. But with Send Text Alerts, it's only, I believe it's $89 for activation for now because they're running a special promotion and then it's like $27 per month flat fee which is just crazy to be honest I've never seen this before so what I did was like I contacted these guys and the owners are Jeremy Gizelson and Simon Hodgkinson and I was able to contact them and get them to give me an account specifically so that I could show you how this all works so as you can see here this definitely saves you a lot of money now in terms of you know how to get up and running remember you want to build a list and in order to get those people onto your list or your mobile list you have to give them a reason for them to give their number to you so whether you give a discount whether you give a coupon whatever you give you need to give them something because once they're on your list then you have a possible buyer so you'll definitely want to give them something a reason a reason to get onto your list now let me show you on the back end how this all works now if you scroll down to the bottom here you will see that it says get your keyword now so if you secure an account with this site what this site will do is you'll choose a keyword so this is how it works if I go to the back office which is my account so that I can show you how this works my keyword is mobile test okay so what you need to do is you need to take out your cell phone and if you let's say for example you you type in 
the two part, for example, if, if I'm sending a text message, I want to make sure that it goes to 368638. And then what I want to do is in the body, the text area, I want to write the two keywords, text best space mobile test. So it's text best space keyword. And I believe they have a demo on the main site if you want to give that a try. And you can see how that works. Now I would show you with my cell phone, but unfortunately with my video cam, it's kind of fuzzy. So I don't know if it's because my cell phone is reflecting the glare or anything like that. But basically you just put that in as the phone number and then you put these two keywords and then you're going to receive a message back. And then if I go here, let's see, edit and messages. So what's going to happen is once your customer is going to subscribe, they they do that. They put the the number in there, they put the text in there, they receive a text back, and then they're going to get two options. So if I scroll down to the get started page, you'll notice that it gives you two options. It's right here I'm holding my phone right now, but you can't see it though. But it says press 1 to subscribe to all of the messages and press 2 to receive only the current messages so what they'll do is after they type that in all they have to do is reply with one or two now one of course they'll subscribe to all of your future promotional messages if they reply with two they're only going to receive your current promotional messages okay so that's that's pretty much self-explanatory I'm gonna go back to the main menu here and I did two tests so you'll notice that my subscription count is two now this is not like you know dial my calls where you you import the first name last name and, and the phone number with this site you have to subscribe they they have to give you permission to you know use their phone number which is good because it's like double opt-in like Aweber you know so you have their permission so that if they, if they come after you and they say oh you're texting me and you're not supposed to you have proof so this site is great in that manner so as you can see here you got a subscription count of two and this allows you to basically contact now it says count you have 91 characters remaining or I think is yeah it's 135 characters total so if you can abbreviate then abbreviate okay so what I'm gonna do is just put in this message and I'm gonna put in the password for every account you're going to get a keyword a password and that's it so if I'm ready I'll have to do this and enter my password click on send and that's it so you can see here that it's very very easy for any of you to get it up and running you don't need to have any thorough technical knowledge or anything like that it's very very easy to get up and running and it's very easy for your customers to subscribe to your mobile contact list so that's a definite option there I definitely recommend this site just because of the pricing and just because it's so easy to get up and running it's only $87 one-time fee $27 monthly rate so if you went with something like dial my calls then if you think about it you will have had to pay you know several hundreds or seven thousand dollars per month just to send text messages or voice messages that's not to say the dial my calls is bad I would highly just I would just use it mainly for the voice messages if you were going with text messages I would use send text okay so in this particular video video number six we're going to talk about creating applications for mobile phones both the iPhone and the droid now before you creating anything I want to mention a few things 
you want to think of, you kind of want to brainstorm what your application is going to be about. And there are several different types of applications. So the first thing you want to do is you want to ask yourself, who is your audience? I mean, I think that's pretty self-explanatory if you're running a business. But that's something that you want to think of. Who is your audience? What are their needs? And will they benefit from you know consistent news that relates to your business or to that industry that appears in their, in their phone? Or would, would it benefit them by you going out and creating you know, a specific application that fits their needs. So you got to ask yourself because most of the time, if you have an application that communicates them with consistent news, that's probably good enough. But if you want to go all out and you want to create an application, let's say an organizer or, or a journal or a specific thing that will help them, you can do that too. And I'm going to show you two different ways. There are two different ways to go about creating applications. The first one, you can do it yourself by using a site like iSites.us, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Or the second way is if you want to customize an application and make it you know, into something that iSites.us does not provide, then you can do that. But you're going to have to hire somebody to do that. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so right now we're looking at iSites.us. This site allows you to create mobile applications for the platforms for iPhones and Androids. Now, as you can see, with using sites like this, you're going to get an application that's pretty standard and pretty templated so that it's not going to be like super unique compared to you know other applications however at the same time that does not mean that you're not going to get a lot out of this application now with this application here you can do a lot you can customize it extremely well but let's say that you know you want to create an application that this site does not provide. If that's the case, then you're going to need to hire an application designer or programmer. And you're going to have to customize that application yourself. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to figure out, like I showed you earlier, you know, what does the audience want? What is it specifically, what would be a good application for them to have? Once you have an idea of what kind of application is good to have then you're going to have to do some research and then you're going to have to create you know a project report and this is where you're going to need to hire a individual programmer you can use sites like odas.com but I would actually recommend that you use sites like scriptlance.com just because scriptlance is filled with programmers that really know what they're doing not that not to say that odesk.com does not but from my experience i found that you know scriptlance has a lot more programmers so let's say i go to the search box here and i search for iphone you'll notice that when i do that you see a ton of projects which is a good sign now if i go to odesk.com and i do a search for iphone what I'm doing basically right now is showing you that you know you can you can go about finding iPhone apps developers and stuff like that and I will say this the the less complicated it is the better I mean when you create an iPhone app it can run anywhere from five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars or more but there are some upsides and there's downsides to both sides. Like for for example, iSites.com, iSites.com, if you notice here, if you develop an application, it's going to charge you like an a monthly fee. Nine dollars to forty nine dollars and things like that. And the reason why they charge a monthly fee is for support and monetization with ads. So you could monetize your applications with ads. You know, perhaps that relate to the ad. So you could sell ad space, things like that. 
But you think about it, you know, $49 times 12 is ultimately well over $400 or $500 already. So let's say two years later, that's $1,000. So in terms of long term, you know, it would probably best to do something, develop something here. But with if you develop something through Odesk or Script Plants, you got to keep in mind that, you know, you're going to have a lot more to develop and things like that but with this this is already up and running and this might already benefit your business already because it's already pre-made because you can add content you can change the design you can monetize it you can customize it you can add buzz and things like that so this is definitely not a bad site because it already provides you an application that you can customize it to your own needs but i, I just wanted to show you this